The only evidence that evolutionists point to in favor of their claims that birds evolved from dinosaurs is a 150 million year old fossil bird Archaeopteryx, which they maintain was a half bird and a half dinosaur unable to fly particularly well. However, the latest discoveries have shown that the animal in question is merely an extinct species of bird. The fact that it lacked a sternum, the breastbone where the muscles essential for flight are attached, was indicated as the most important evidence that it was unable to fly. The seventh Archaeopteryx fossil to be discovered in 1992, however, showed that the creature did actually possess such a bone, contrary to what evolutionists had imagined. The presence of this bone proved that Archaeopteryx was a flying bird. Evolutionists depicted the claws on its wings and the teeth in its jaws as proof that Archaeopteryx was an intermediate form. But this was distortion rather than evidence. Birds such as the Turaco and the Hutzin, which are living today, also have claws permitting them to cling onto branches. Some other birds that have lived in the past also had teeth. The fact that Archaeopteryx had asymmetrical feathers is another indication that it was a flying bird. This characteristic is to be found in all flying birds and permits them to fly by giving an aerodynamic structure. All of these findings show that there is no foundation to the evolutionist claims that the Archaeopteryx was an intermediate form. Despite being an evolutionist, Alan Fiducia, a professor from the North Carolina University and one of the world's most eminent ornithologists, strongly opposes the theory that birds are related to dinosaurs. Fiducia says, well, I've studied bird skulls for 25 years and I don't see any similarities whatsoever. I just don't see it. The so-called therabot origins of birds, in my opinion, will be the greatest embarrassment of paleontology of the 20th century. In addition, the recent discovery of fossil flying birds that have lived at the same time as Archaeopteryx have also totally discredited the claim that Archaeopteryx was an intermediate in the imaginary transition from dinosaurs to birds. Of these, the beak, feathers and skeletal structure of the 140 million years old Confucius Ornus discovered in China in 1995 and more or less the same age as Archaeopteryx exhibit exactly the same characteristics as those of present-day birds. This totally discredits the evolutionist thesis to the effect that Archaeopteryx was the primitive ancestor of all birds. The 130 million year old fossil bird Leoningornis, again discovered in China in November 1996, and the 120 million year old Eolulavis were also identical to living birds in terms of structure and mechanisms, and they were able to fly in a perfect manner. In an analysis in Discover magazine, Professor Alan Fiducia stated that Leonin Gornis disproved the evolutionist thesis that birds are descended from dinosaurs. What is the origin of birds? This fossil, Leonin Gornis, tells us that it is not the dinosaurs.